first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our cream ready, our heavy cream. Now I've got two thirds cup of heavy cream. And whenever I'm making whipping cream, I always make sure that I put in my pan, my bowl, my stainless steel bowl, and my beaters out in the freezer. And I actually remembered today, I'm so glad. If y'all hear gunshots, that's my husband out there. <laughs> I think he's shooting at a target or something, I don't know. But anyways, it's never a dull moment around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my mixer on, and I'm just going to start mixing, and I'm going to let it get to uh, a soft peak stage, and then I'm going to start adding my powdered sugar. Okay, our whipping cream is, is starting to get thick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my one cup of powdered sugar to it. And I'm going to turn this back on, and we're going to whip it to... A stiff peak. Okay, we got it where it needs to be. It's to a stiff peak, and you can see it. See how it clings to my beaters. If you can see down in there, it's it's pretty thick. Now you don't want to beat it too much, or you'll beat it plumb into butter. So, <laughs> so anyways, this is done. I'm gonna clean my mess up. I'm gonna put my whipping cream in the refrigerator, keep it cold, and we're going to mix up the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so what I've got here is I'm going to make a graham cracker crust. So I've got about a sleeve and a half in my food processor. And uh, so I'm hoping that that'll make about a cup and a half of graham cr cracker crumb. I've got, let's see, I think this is two, yeah, it's two tablespoons of brown sugar. And all I'm going to do is put my top back in here and I'm just going to whiz this up just a little bit. Now you don't even have to use graham cracker crust. You can use just regular pastry crust if you want to. It's just up to you. So I've got my graham crackers all crushed up. And if you don't have a food processor, do like I always used to do. Just put them in a baggie and get you something. Just whip the fire out of it and get it crushed up and it'll be fine. And we're going to be using a 9 inch spring form pan for this cheesecake. I'm going to put my graham crackers in my bowl because we're going to mix this up with our butter. Okay, I got my graham crackers in my mixing bowl. And now I'm going to take about six teaspoons of melted butter. And my melted butter, it's not melted anymore. It's kind of cool in the house tonight. But I'm not fussing about it, that's for sure. So I'm ready for this fall weather. So what you want to do is you just want to get that, mix that melted butter up with your graham crackers. So that's about one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs and six tablespoons of melted butter. And I hope y'all having some pretty fall weather now. We had a couple days about 84. Today it was about 72. Gets about, I guess, down in 40s at night. So it's good sleeping weather. It's just not cold enough for me to crank up my wood cook stove yet. <laughs> But, I am getting ready for that, that's for sure. So what I want to do is I just want to make sure that I get these graham crackers good and moist. So that I can pat them down into my pan here. So 
but it looks pretty good. I'm going to put them down in there. I'm just going to take my hand. My hands are clean. You can take a measuring cup. You can take anything. Just kind of pat it down and uh, kind of get it down in there. I'm just going to keep pressing on this. Now you can buy graham cracker crumbs already crushed up for you in the baking section. I just, I never buy them because I've always got graham crackers here. And I know if I ever need a crust, I'll just grab me a couple of packages of graham crackers and whiz them up. Okay. Just make sure you got it even down through there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the freezer for a little bit while I'm mixing all my other stuff up. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is making our pumpkin filling. And you're going to need about two cups or if you just got a 15 ounce can of pumpkin, just use that 15 ounce pumpkin because that'll work. If you're using fresh pumpkin, just go ahead and get your two cups. Either way to work. So we got a pumpkin in there. So we got half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to put a few spices in here. Let's see. We need about a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to put about two teaspoons of vanilla. This will be a really good dessert for Thanksgiving if you wanted something just a little bit different than just a regular pumpkin pie. I'm just going to kind of give this a stir and then we're going to get our cream cheese and we're going to get it mixed up. And that's about 24 ounces of cream cheese. Okay, now we got our 24 ounces of cream cheese in our bowl. And I'm just going to take my hand mixer and I'm going to mix this till it's soft. Okay, I think that's pretty soft now. We're going to get our pumpkin mixture. We're going to put it in here with our cream cheese. It's really easy and really quick to put together. And you don't have to turn the oven on. So now I'm going to take my mixer and I'm going to mix this up. I think that's pretty good. Now all we like 
is our whipped cream. Now we're not going to use some mixture and mix that in. We're going to fold the whipped cream in. I'm going to get down here to the bottom. Sometimes you'll miss some of that cream cheese down the bottom. I'm just going to kind of stir it in there. And you see the, the pretty color it is. Looks like pumpkin. Looks like pumpkin pie. So let me get my whipping cream and we'll get it folded in. Okay, we're going to get our whipping cream out. Just kind of dump it over there into your pumpkin mixture and your cream cheese. Now, if you want to, you can use Cool Whip instead of whipped cream. That's just up to you. The recipe calls for whipping cream. I like whipping cream better, but if you want to make it even faster and easier, you can use Cool Whip. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this whipping cream in here. And I'm going to just go around, go through the middle and around the sides, back through the middle. You just do this a few times till you get it folded in good. So I'm going to continue to do this to get all that whipping cream folded in good. And then we're going to put it in our crust. We'll go out to the freezer and get the crust. We'll get it in our pan. So I went and got the crust out of the freezer. Now we're just going to put our filling in. It smells really good. Smells like cheesecake, smells like pumpkin pie spice. You know, my kids, they love pumpkin pie. And we don't just make it and serve it at holidays. A lot of times we'll make it on a Sunday or something like that with our dinner. Because that's just one of their favorite pies. And this makes a pretty thick cheesecake. Now, I'm going to put this cheesecake in the refrigerator, cover it up. But if you feel like, if you get it out after several hours and you don't feel like it's set up good enough, just stick it in the freezer for an hour or so. And that should help it. But it should be, should be fine. So we're just going to spread this out. And like I said, it's a pretty thick cheesecake. So this will feed quite a few people because you're, it's rich enough that you're not going to want to serve big old slices. Unless you know somebody that really likes pumpkin cheesecake. That's a big old slice. So just smear it around there. Get as even as you can. And that's my refrigerator making that noise. Ice maker. And there goes my clock. Never quiet around here. Okay. I think that's good. So I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to put it in the fridge. It'll be in the refrigerator overnight. Um, it should be set up good. And like I said, if it's not, I'll stick it in the freezer for a little bit. But it's a delicious, no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. I've got to try it.